Satya skills. In this video, let us learn something about the types of banks or the classification of banks. We all know that banks are divided into different types on the basis of location, on the basis of nature of functions, on the basis of ownership, etc. In this video, let us learn about banks classified on the basis of their function. Therefore, they are, this classification is called functional classification. Different banks are developed to suit the financial needs of various sections in the economy and offer specialized services according to the demand of these sectors. Such banks are classified on the basis of functions and that classification is functional classification. They are the first ones is uh, commercial banks. Commercial banks are the oldest of all types of banks. They form the base on which other types of banks developed. Commercial banks constitute the larger part of the total banking system in any country because these banks came very close to general public. Commercial bank activities have very powerful and strong influence on the financial system. When, uh, commercial banks provide short term financial services to trade, small industry, agriculture, service sector and general public. Important functions are they accept all kinds of deposits and provide all types of loans. Usually traders and general public farmers are their customers. Second one is central bank. Central bank is the highest monetary authority, controller of total banking system and leader of banking system in any country. Central bank uh, in any country usually performs the following basic functions. It enjoys the monopoly of note issue and currency regulations and a bank acts as a banker and financial advisor to the government and is the banker, leader, guide to all banks. And central bank in any country is the leader of money market and also acts as a central clearing agent. And the most importantly, it is the controller of credit and custodian of nation's reserves. These are the functions of central bank. Next one is industrial banks. They are established to provide financial assistance and other related services to industrial sector. They are also called investment banks because they are involved in the capital investment functions. Germany was the best uh, home of industrial banks. They deal with industrial banks deal with long term activities such as they provide long term loans, accept long term deposits. Usually they provide loans for 10 to 20 years of to time to an industry and of course in the same way accept long term deposits. They act like underwriters to the issue, new issue and also they, are, they provide guidance to the new entrepreneurs and new industrialists. Agriculture banks, they are specialized financial institutions work for agriculture and rural sector. Agriculture and elite activities require short term loans to purchase seeds, fertilizers, pay to workers during harvesting, etc. They require medium term, long term loans for land improvement, minor irrigation, mechanization, etc. Agricultural needs are entirely different from trade needs. Therefore, many countries, especially the developing countries which whose economy depends a lot on agriculture like India, China, these uh, countries they develop agricultural banks. Next one is the exchange banks. They are specialized in financing foreign trade and they are the long established with a large network of global branches. They have huge financial resources. They facilitate foreign trade connecting the exporters to importers. They provide loans, advances to uh, exporters and also importers in both local currency and foreign currency. They provide guidance, they work like mediators and other functions are also there but basically they facilitate foreign trade. These are the few major kinds of banks apart from this in the world there are other kinds of banks like uh, savings banks, merchant banks, rural banks etc. 